back, if you bring it back halfway, uh, it locks up and puts it on safe right there. Uh, but once you get back and there's a, a kind of a hard stop, then the safety is mostly engaged. But so I just I'm going to be careful not to uh, get into the trigger guard, but just catch it right there. But uh, at any rate, most competitions it's not set on on safe that often. Uh, at least when uh, when it's important and I'm under the gun. But it's uh, it's out of the way, and so I really like that uh, that trigger. Um, so again, the uh, the action has smoothed up and loosened up, and I finally figured out how to get this. So if you just roll it forward. And it seems like this detent is is working its way a little bit, uh, a little bit smoother. Um, but I imagine they have a hole. That's what they had to have done, because there's no hole for a pin. There's probably a, a a hole drilled vertically here. I think is what I remember now. And the spring and then the detent ball. So they have to push that down, and then assemble the uh, the bolt stop this way and then it, it captures the uh, spring and the detent uh, and it's on right there so I, I I like it the knurled knob I think is uh, is a good touch I think it'll be better than than the teardrop um, I never played with the teardrop but the uh, the uh, knurled knob works and I think they may have they may have done that, I'm not sure why, but maybe to get more rotation than they could with the teardrop, I don't know. But at any rate, uh, once you kind of play with it, it uh, you know how much force to put on it, and it's really simple. And of course, I love the, uh, the, uh, the roll mark, I guess it's probably laser etched, but and it has the uh, ejector. I mean, you guys have seen all that. And it's got the uh, the three lug, and it's got a lot of brass. Even though I haven't shot it, it's probably got sharper machined edges that uh, that are going to take some time to wear off. I I like. Uh, let's see if we can get it to focus here. Uh, I like that they have it uh, engraved right there with the uh, with the uh, size of the bolt face. There we go. The size of the bolt face. And uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, so if you want to see, let me tilt that. So there's the, that's where they put the serial number. Yeah, so there you can see the serial number. And uh, I'm not sure how many went out into the wild first, but. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Mine's number five. So I think I'm a official Nucleus uh, American Rifle Company fanboy now, I suppose. 